In the previous video, episode 3, we shot sunrise at Tunnel View, then post sunrise at Bridal Vale Moraine, toured the Valley Meadows, hiked Mirror Lake, and finished with a night shoot at El Cap. For episode 4, we'll start at Valley View, then leave the valley and head south to see the giant sequoias. Our hike today will be at the Mariposa Grove of giant sequoia trees. We'll finish off the day back in the valley with an intimate sunset scene of Half Dome. So settle in, put the day's worries aside, and enjoy the wonders of some of the world's oldest and largest living species. to Valley View, Sunrise. We start out this morning in our most favorite spot, not knowing what to expect, only that our tea will be hot. This place is so special, there is magic in its air. No matter your soul's burden, it will be granted repair. In Mariposa Grove, there lives an immortal giant, witnessing fires, floods, and even man. Yet through it all stands the fiant. So stretch out your arms and feel her maternal embrace, for this is the essence of this timeless place. setting up the jet boil. Time for tea. <laughs> yeah, baby. Who's better than us, man? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We've been looking forward to this oh, since yesterday, yesterday morning. Yeah, we forgot the we forgot our water. Quick service announcement this morning. When you're out and about, especially in the national parks, pack it in, pack it out, man. Don't leave any traces. rest stop in the valley, then we headed south for an hour and ten minute drive. But, you know, like I said, it might still be worth a call to Nikon and say, is anybody else having trouble with this? Is there anything I can do? Mark and I were discussing my unfortunate casualty on the evening we shot El Cap in episode 3. So as it turned out, my Nikkor Z 1424 died for no apparent reason. And I was really looking forward to using it today for the sequoias. But hey, that's life. There's an old Irish saying, two people shorten the road, suggesting that Having friendships along a journey make the travel time pass with ease. This past hour has certainly reminded me of those words. We've arrived at Mariposa Grove, as if it was merely five minutes. There's a hiking trail if you'd rather skip the shuttle. 
It's two miles each way on the Washburn Trail. Mark and I planned to hike through the grove, so we skipped out on the 500 feet of elevation required to reach where the shuttle would drop us. Yeah, I think she's seen us. I just asked her if she can hold it. See if we waste the these people. She's sort of looking at me, but. Yeah, I know. And I was walking fast. It's like, come on, lady. The shuttle runs every 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the time of year. But how convenient to park, then jump on a shuttle with no wait time. Turns out the lady did see us, and she waited. It's the little things. These action cameras are so convenient for vlogging, but the byproduct of unwanted noise can sometimes be unfortunate. Sorry, folks. We'll call it, hmm, organic. Yeah, I mean, we're here. Yeah. See, I think we've fallen monarch, come up here. Yeah. Bachelor in Three Graces, and come here. It's a quarter mile there. I mean, maybe we come up here. Yep. We could come way up here then. <coughs> but I mean, I don't know. Wow. Jeez, they're like, look at this. They're, they're so. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, oh man, there's a word I'm looking for. That word would be, well, actually, two words noble and splendifurious. Yep, just added that one to the vocabulary. But it fits quite nicely.
is, baby. Eureka! Woo hoo hoo! A grizzly giant. Two hundred and nine foot tall, twenty-eight foot in diameter, ninety ninety-six feet in circumference. Holy crap. It was time to move on, but we could have easily spent the better part of a day here in the presence of this noble giant. The California Tunnel Tree is a must-see. It's an experience standing in the presence of these gentle giants but it's immersive to actually walk through one. It really puts things into perspective for you. Can you imagine how many photos this tree is in? Mark was offering family portraits, so, hey, why not? This next story has to do with a bucket list item. Mark had mentioned that he really wanted to lay down at the base of one of these, wait for it, Splendiferous Giants. Nice word, eh? <laughs> anyway, the goal was to choose a sequoia that was rather secluded. And this section of the trail is where many have already turned back. They've seen the grizzly giant and the tunnel tree, and to continue requires an elevated hike with more distance to the next sequoia. The voices in the forest began to diminish, and the joy of the moments that followed made for an entertaining story. Not to mention one of my favorite images of Mark's from this hike. But did he get the check off his bucket list item? Well, I'll have to run back and grab the camera so that I can film it for you to find out. This is huge. That is huge. Look at that, huh? Damn. All of these sequoias have been creatively named based on their characteristics. The faithful couple divides into two trunks as it reaches for the sky. The two have become one. Speaking of which, check this out. What are the chances of getting this shot at the faithful couple? Too bad I didn't exchange emails with them. But pretty cool though, eh? That's not the only thing I captured. Let's get back to Mark's bucket list. So Mark happened to mention that he really liked a song from episode 3 during our bike ride in Yosemite Valley. So, this one's for you, Mark. You can relive checking off your bucket list item with a cool song to boot. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I become. I've been running east, 
looking for something Digging deep since 99 What I thought was gone Was sitting in my pocket In plain sight all along <laughs> I think it's time for me to go Burn all bridges It was another splendiferous day in Yosemite, and we were heading back to Camp Curry. And that means we'll be passing through Wawana Tunnel, as it reveals world-renowned tunnel view. And this scene never gets old. Give us a colorful sunset or sunrise. <laughs> Very stingy with the color. Mark and I back at camp, grabbing our small bags, tripod and a camera. That's it. Uh, and some safety lights, headlamps and such for the way back. It'll most likely be dark. It's running close, but we're hoping that even after the sun goes down beyond where we can see it over the valley mountains, um, that you know, half dome will be the last thing that's lit. So maybe we can still get that golden light. We may lose some of our foreground. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. We're heading back. We're heading back now. Mark stayed behind because something he ate didn't sit well with him. Hopefully, he can still make it in time. We scouted and chose a location, so he'll know where to find me. I've just about reached the location for a shoot, and I had to stop. I couldn't resist this light and beautiful scene. Truth be told, it's hard to make a bad photograph in Yosemite. And here's the proof with a quick first person view snapshot. Mark's gonna make it. I was really concerned he wasn't gonna make it, but there he is right there. We just waved to each other, he sees me. He's probably gonna go over the bridge. And right above him. Is Half Dome, baby. Ha! We made it. Mark made it. Made it with, I mean, okay, here's your son right there. So these trees are all in the shade now. Now it's gonna, you're, we're gonna see it. We're gonna watch it creep right up the front of that thing. We're gonna watch it just creep right up, right up Half Dome. Yeah. Man, so it's nice to be here. And this was a uh, simple setup. We just grabbed yeah. our one camera, and one lens, small tripod, put in a backpack. And away we go. And pedal down here. That's it, skip all the traffic. 
enjoy the ride down. The Beautiful bikes were the way to go. Bikes were the way to go. Speaking of bikes, we, we could have a conversation at some point about uh, what we want to do with these bikes because we can't take them back, you know? Yeah, well, I was thinking, like I say, we just leave them here. But then I'm thinking, you know, we stayed at the uh, Berkshire Inn and Brittany was real nice and maybe we give them to her. Oh, and, I like uh, where you're going with this. And, and then she can have them because, I mean, we're not taking them home. And if we leave them here, they're just going to rent them out. <laughs> we're going to find them and rent them out. So we'll give them to her. Brilliant and, idea. Uh, the zucchini maybe, bread alone. Maybe she'll, give them the, we'll pay, she'll pay us some zucchini, <laughs> zucchini bread. bread. All right. Uh, that would be great. The question is, you going to call her? I'll have to call her. I'll All call right. her tomorrow. All right. Let's tomorrow see what morning. happens. We got a plan. So that, that that's much better than just keeping them here. And who knows? Yeah, they might knows. even put them into their bike rental, right? That's what I think they'll do. And then we'll be and then helping, we're not, uh, yeah, helping we're not them out. Helping them out. Not giving really someone else a blessing. somebody else out. So. I All like right. it. All right. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. So, Brittany. Plan. Brittany, they're coming Brittany. your way. Brittany, they're coming your way. If you want them. Just so you know, Brittany is the, the host of the um, the Berkshire Inn, the B&B we stayed at the night before we came into the uh, to the park. So, right. he's going to call her. We're going to see what happens. Maybe we can bless them. Maybe. Woohoo! I like good. it. The plan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am excited. It turns out we do have time. Now, from here, the sun has already... Um, well, for us, from our, from our vantage point, <laughs> um, we can no longer see the sun, but that doesn't mean it's not going to illuminate Half Dome right here. But here's your telltale signs right here. If you start looking, you can see where the sun is coming down. You can start seeing these tips, and uh, eventually those shadows are going to creep right up Half Dome. We hope it's going to get red, but you know, there's, there's a lot of factors that, that depend on that. But look at this. Look at this image I'm working on now. Oh, oh, simple and just, it's just classic Yosemite. Look at that, just beautiful. Just a simple, simple composition. And I'll make more. And uh, Mark's got a good idea. I might steal this shot from Mark, thinking about it. He was nice enough to share it with me. But uh, let's see what he's working on here. He's got, oh yeah, he's firing all, all up, so yeah. Yeah, I got the park. grass in the front. Yeah, if we get down low like, like he is, we can see. Look at this. He's using that grass as a foreground. It's, you knock all the cars out of the way so nothing there in the foreground. Nice. I'm stealing that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> to join Mark and me in the next episode as we remain hopeful that ton of you may still give us a colorful sunset. Also, if you're enjoying the series, a like and subscribe go a long way in helping the channel. It doesn't cost anything, all but a click or two. Until then, be kind to one another, forgive, and enjoy life.